right now, I, I just stuck in it, and I, I'm sure it's stuck in my brain for the rest of my life. Yeah. And they are. Don't ask me what it means. I still don't know what it means. Hi, my name is Leon J. Williams, and today I'll be reading a series of assumptions about me. Uh, I don't know, it would be interesting to see what's going to happen. Never done this kind of um, Q&A before. Yeah. Leon J. Williams is afraid to choose roles that deviate from his Prince Charming image. Do I have a Prince Charming image? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not afraid to um, do other kinds of roles. It's, it's mainly for an actor, I think it's not just the role, it's also the whole story. I actually do hope to uh, get comedic roles. Um, at the end of the day, it's because of my uh, reputation with all the uh, Prince Charming roles, director of a company, sort of him, boyfriend, uh, husband, image. So if I'm getting roles that are very serious most of the time, right, you're not going to be offered funny roles. Yeah. Being an actor was never part of his initial plan, still believes he is a model over an actor. I'm leaning towards 50, so if people still think I'm a model, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't mind. My very first time being on a TV set was uh, yeah, right here in Singapore on this very old TV show called Triple Nine. Yeah, it was fun, it was fun. I had to play like a, I wasn't a bad guy. I was playing a model, obviously, you know, that's why they got me and I enjoyed it very much. Leon J. Williams is a very protective father over his daughter, probably the overprotective dad. I am protective over her if it gets out of hand, for example, with the media. I think I'm the kind of father that just lets her fall down and hurt herself and I'll, I won't be like, oh, you poor thing, you know. I'll be like, just get up and you know, get on with it. Yeah, am I supposed to uh, think that far? <laughs> I will try and be the nice dad. I don't want to scare him away or, or her for that matter. I don't know. Um, she's she's going to be like a, a good friend of mine. I try to make her a friend of mine so she can share anything with me. I think that's the best way for a father to uh, treat the daughter, not too strict. Or else she will not bring anyone back to show us. Being away from home is always tough. Leon J. Williams must have had his fair share of lonely moments when abroad. I would say that if I had a choice, I'd rather not because it is... Yeah, I just get very lonely. But, but it helped when um, I got married, I guess. <laughs> Leon J. Williams finds it awkward to show his daughter his drama scenes. No, that's uh, not a good assumption. I'm pretty much acting with her on a daily basis. We've got all these little puppets, you know, that I'm like, hey, wake up, wake up, meow, meow, meow. Okay, I've got this uh, little black kitty cat. Yeah, it's a hand puppet. Uh, we name her Kitty the Brave. So I go, Good morning, Harper, how are you? Are you ready to wake up now? Wakey, wakey. And then it's time to sleep, same thing. You know? Oh, hi, Harper, it's Kitty the Brave. How was your day? Uh, it's bedtime, I'm very tired, go sleep. <sighs> Yeah, we're acting out the scenes, you know, and, and she enjoys it, so she, she gets in, you know, and uh, she's picking it up from me, the whole acting, so I, I'm not shy. Being a father means rejecting roles that his daughter may watch in the future. No, I will just do any role. If I like it, I'll do it, because she's at the age where she's not allowed to um, watch anything by herself, so she's not allowed to watch it anyway. I can always tell her, you, know, you don't like the role I did, but that's how I paid for your room. <laughs> <laughs> and the house that you're living in, so you don't really have a say in this. <laughs> I think, yeah, right now my limit would be full nudity. I don't think I want to do anything naked. Um, even actually with the bum, I don't think I want to expose my bum. Yeah, but if the role really, really requires it, uh, I need a green light from my wife as well. <laughs> Singapore standard is nowhere near Taiwan or overseas, so coming back from top class productions must be hard for him. I have done all kinds of levels of work, be it in Taiwan, Hong Kong, China, and Singapore. So, yes, I am in a position to compare. I've done I've done um, twenty man productions in Taiwan, so called lower budget movies, TV shows. It's just the way it is. It doesn't matter to an actor because you go in, you do the role. You don't care how big this production is, big or small. I still have to do the same thing. I would happily do a role in Singapore, which I have done in like 
know if you guys have watched uh, Lulu, you know, which did pretty well at the box office, I think. But I, I had fun doing it, and that's the most important thing. Despite acting in Chinese dramas and being in Taiwan for a period of time, Leon J. Williams is still not strong in Mandarin. I am not as strong as I would like to be in Mandarin, but I have to say, in, in the last almost 20 years, right, my Mandarin has definitely improved. I'm, I'm still scared now when I get a script in Chinese. I'm, I, I'm literally sweating and like, okay, what's going on? When I get the script right, I will have to get someone who's very proficient in Mandarin. Uh, I guess in recent times, it would be my wife. Uh, she would read every line to me. Anything else I can't read, she will go through and then I will write in the, um, the, the, the Hanya Ping. They have this kind of like wen yan wen. It's like their idioms. And I, I have a problem with that. I had this uh, period movie I did 14 years ago and it took me a week to memorize just four lines. But strangely enough, I still remember it till today. Right now, I, I, it just stuck in it. And I, I'm sure it's stuck in my brain for the rest of my life. Yeah. Don't ask me what it means. I still don't know what it means. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Thank you. It was fun. Um, it's nice answering questions like that, something a bit um, out of the ordinary. Um, I'm back home, spending a lot of time with family and uh, old friends, which I, I think I've sorely neglected for many years. And I'm also waiting for the whole pandemic to 100% be over. I'm, I think I'm ready for my next project. Hopefully it would be a, an, an English-speaking project. You know, hopefully in, in US or Canada or anywhere else. That, that would be on my bucket list. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I could do that. Oh my. Thank you for watching another episode of Assumptions About Me. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and comment on what kind of things you don't want me to do. Probably this puppet thing. Bye.